welcome back to my Age of Empires 2 campaign playthrough. This is coming directly from Training the Troops. I felt like that one was too short to come back with, so I'm just going to go ahead and do the next one, which is also fairly short. Without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started. Rumors creep in from the south of a giant who leads the forces of Scotland, his great sword driving through earth and man and horse alike. If this mythical knight can hold the English advance, it will give us time to develop the arms we need. Even now, our smiths are forging swords, and Fletchers are making arrows and crossbow bolts. Gotta contribute to the war effort. Alright, we get a lot more English stuff here. English very advanced weapons and armor. Iskara. To win, you will need to advance to the feudal age and repel the English raids. You're going to need to research some technologies of your own to increase the strength of your civilization. Okay, so this time around, I'm going to try to follow the pacing of the tutorial a little bit more to make uh, his voice lines a little less obnoxious. Click the town center, then click the research loom button. Good. Researching by far one of the best technologies in the game, by the way. And I'm not being sarcastic there. While it's you're researching, freaking fantastic. You can put your villagers to work and use your military units to explore. Military oh, units to explore. Oh, oh wow. There's so much area to explore. Six on a sheep. We're going to need to build a, a mining camp, or a second building to advance to the next age anyway. Might as well make it a mining camp. New technologies and buildings become available when you advance to a new age. I actually think they're going to tell us to build a, build a mill soon, but mining camp is good enough. Now you have enough food to advance to the feudal age. There we go. However. You also need two buildings from your current age. You already have a barracks, so now have your villagers build a mill. The mill is a drop-off point for food, so build it next to your food source. Okay, easy enough. In addition to gathering food at forage bushes, Villagers can herd sheep or hunt deer for food. Alright. You can actually advance to the next age immediately. You're on your way to the feudal age. I actually probably should have waited for the mill to do that. Since I promised to keep things canonical. Click your town center, then click the advance the feudal age button. It's very nice how you can see uh Wow, I actually double triggered that. It's, it's actually very interesting to see how the triggers work. Because you can tell that, that he triggers that voice line as soon as the mill gets created, uh, constructed. Let's just garrison them real fast. Now that the battle is over, create some extra militia units at the barracks. To replenish your forces. Replenish my forces. <laughs> replenish my forces that haven't been lost, yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll build a couple to humor him. So why not? Those guys are healing up. I thought they are going to need it. And as you can see, the British have a measly, measly score of 36. Basically, there's probably just one militia unit spawned somewhere on the edge of the map. That we can't see um, to make sure that they don't get defeated, and then the triggers will come in and spawn some militia to attack us a second time. It'll be very easy. I think I actually think they get a knight, uh, which is pretty is a pretty formidable foe. A formidable foe. Um, they get they have 100 HP, 10 attack, two melee defense, and they get a bonus against infantry. Screen is the idle villager button. Click it. And locate villagers who are not currently assigned to a task. Now that you're in the feudal age, you can upgrade your militia to men at arms. Click the barracks, then click upgrade to men at arms. Alright. 
Upgrading to man at arms will change all your militia oh, units to the more powerful men at arms. Who would have thought? Um, that's very interesting actually. So I normally have uh, my idle villager key bound to my spacebar, uh, but it's not. It's returning me to my last my last view, which is very interesting. I'll need to fiddle around with the settings later to change that. Uh, idle villager button is your friend. The English are attacking again. Teach sure. them a lesson with your new men at arms. There's the knights. Put some down. Not even paying attention. Alright. He's coming for the mill. Alright. Easy enough. Back to work. Clearly not. I mean, they, they sent four guys against the town center. Now here's the question. Where did they come from? Spooky. And there you go. Like, like I predicted, there's your militia right there to prevent them from being defeated. Anyway, this is a very quick one again. Hope you guys enjoyed. I hope the sound quality is good. Make sure that to let me know what you think of the sound quality below in the comments. And uh, let's see what he has to say. See you next I'll see you guys next time. Longshanks has invaded, stormed, and sacked the city of Perth. It's worse. He's captured the fabled Stone of Scone and declared himself King of Scotland. If we cannot bring about a victory in battle soon, then the Scottish armies will be too demoralized to put up any fight at all. If this mythical Scottish giant does exist, I wish he'd get his forces up to Stirling, where we shall next do battle. Alright, see you guys later.